Thanksgiving 2009, Packers, Lions, you throw a seven yard touchdown pass to Donald Driver that you call the greatest play you've ever been a part of. Why? Uh, because it was a, a play built completely around trust. It was probably the first play that I did it, I did what I shouldn't have done. I threw it where I shouldn't have thrown it and Donald ran the route he shouldn't have ran. But because we were thinking the exact same thing, it was a touchdown and it just came to, but it came together beautifully. It was one of those situations where I got inside his mind, he got inside my mind. And when it happens like that, it, it's one of the most amazing things and feelings, knowing that I look at him, he looks back at me. I don't look at him again. I drop back and they do something they hadn't shown. He runs something he'd never ran before and I threw it to where a place I hadn't thrown it before. We we're on the exact same page and that's just a special feeling. How do you get to that point? Uh, experience, I think, repetition, practice, um, and then just talking. I, I think, you know, just the, the time that we spend in a meeting room going over a film and talking about, uh, about different things and then just reading body language. I, it was just trusting that, you know, when he did a certain thing with his arms, he was going inside and he was going to turn around. Or he should have ran a corner, he ran a stop route. And I threw it to the stop route and while well, he may have been thinking I was going to throw the corner. You've talked about the game essentially slowing down for you. How so? Uh, it's just a, a feeling, a, a comfort in the pocket. It's a comfort in the line of scrimmage. I think the key to that is you've got to become an expert of your offense. Um, and, and once you become an expert of your offense, the game slows down once you start to understand defenses and how they're trying to stop you and, and, and body language and, and learn how to watch film. And when you combine all that with experience, I think the game really becomes um, just a very methodical chess match um, and, and it does slow down for you because you're, you, I think what slows down the most is not your body or not your arm, it's, it's uh, you know, your, your mind, your, your mind's not racing. I remember when I was a rookie when you break the huddle, I'm thinking about a hundred different things and now when I break the huddle I don't even think about what my guys are doing, I know where they're at, I'm just thinking about how the defense can stop us and if they do this, I'm doing that. If they show this look, I got to do this. And that's when the game starts to become almost more like a practice tempo. I spoke to your brother Jordan recently, and he said you always tell him, play fast, but don't be in a hurry. What does that mean? Well, I kind of stole that from John Wooden, I think. Uh, I think he said, be quick, but don't be in a hurry. Um, but that means that uh, you always want to be playing uh, at, a, at a good tempo. You, you, you drop, you move in the pocket. Your decision making needs to be decisive, but I think when you start to hurry yourself, it's a, it's more of a mindset that um, slow things down in your mind, but continue to play fast with your body. You talked about when the huddle breaks, but what about when the ball's hiked? It's in your hands. What are you looking for? What are you seeing? I have a few keys I like to look at each play, depending on what the team is. And, and how does that impact what you do? It just it it. it can help me figure out what the defense is doing. Because like I said, I know what our offense is doing. I just need to find out very quickly what kind of look I'm, I'm, I'm seeing on defense. You know, does he open his hips up? Is he, is he square shouldered? Is he blitzing? What coverage does they play behind him when he blitzes? So all that stuff, information has to be processed in nanoseconds and, and, and that leads me, allows me to be a, a quick decision maker.